This is Bessie. She's gonna be put out to pasture and put in the museum for now. Bessie doesn't produce milk, but she's turning out to be quite the cash cow. You know, out of uh, yeah, six square feet, we generated about $18,000 in revenue lift in the first 30 days in the first trial and it's just ramped from there. EcoATM is a startup out of Southern California that makes recycling your electronic devices, particularly phones, easy. So I'm, I'm shopping in where? Where am I? Best um, Buy or big box retail? You know, we're still trialing it, but okay. um, where there's high foot traffic and where um, you might be buying a new phone. So I come up to the machine, I got my old phone, let's say, right. and this is all touchpad automated, correct? Right. But tell me what happens when I place my phone right. in this area here where the machine then reads stuff. So the consumer would, we would invite you to put your phone in. Uh -huh. We have cameras that look at the phone and yeah. can ID the model of the phone and then also um, tell what kind of damage it has. EcoATM's founders did some research and found a Nokia study that stated that only 3% of old cell phones are recycled worldwide. That works out to be five to six old cell phones per household in the U.S. So how do we get those things back? And what we decided is that the current methods of getting them back, the threshold was just too high for most people to participate. So how do you bring that threshold up uh, to a point where uh, people will actually do it, make it convenient, make it financially incentivized, erase their data. People will do the right thing and they want to do the right thing if... If there's some incentive. If there's financial incentive and if it's right? easy, right? Everybody exactly. wants to, they'll say they want to do the right thing, but you got to, <laughs> you know, meet them halfway exactly. or three quarters exactly. of the way or whatever it takes. And we decided this was it and built it and it turns out it works. EcoATM works like this. Find a kiosk in your favorite retailer and place your phone under EcoATM's camera. Their technology identifies your phone from over 3,000 phone models dating what back as far as the 1980s and assesses damage or wear and tear. Now that's super advanced. So this technology that you've built or, or software right. that you've, I guess, yeah, patented not, or something, because I don't know who else does that. Yeah, it's not right? trivial. Uh, vi visual recognition technology has come a long way. Mm -hmm. We're applying it to this particular problem. The difficult part is really telling the wear and tear on the phone I was say, and how, how much you know that, that makes the value in the secondary market. Next, EcoATM tells me what the real-time market price is for my phone. If it has some value and I accept it, my personal data is erased, I identify myself for state law purposes, and the phone is dropped in and labeled. With visibility comes accountability, and so this is a really good system because we know who did what and we can track all the way through. And here's the good part. I get a printout for store credit at the retail store I'm in. Even if you have a valueless phone or a low value mm -hmm. phone, you're still gonna get a lot of value out of this machine for doing the right thing and recycling. EcoATM prints out coupons, discounts, and store promotions for your phone, even when it's worth nothing. It really is a incentivizes. Yeah, certainly. That's the key. And you're already in the store. You're probably already shopping, so right. lets you have more. I'm interested in, you know, the how does this work? You got to make something from it. Right. The retailers are excited to have it. So who? How is everything winning? So when we shop for the best price, um, we we don't present that entire price to the consumer, we save a little bit for ourselves. I see, okay. And uh, we have to pay for the kiosk, for the maintenance. Because EcoATM collects so many phones, they usually get better prices on the recycled phones, more than what you or I could get trying to sell one on eBay. And then the store is giving store credit. So how so does put, that so the, work? Uh, print out the store credit. Mm -hmm. um, then you go buy something in the store. Okay. The store then adds those receipts up and sends me an invoice, and I pay them. EcoATM then gets phones shipped to their headquarters and sells the phones or parts to a number of buyers, many in developing countries. There's always a cycle for, for used phones. Uh, getting these into those people's hands is, is a big deal. It sounds like an all-around winning business model. But when four entrepreneur friends were sitting in a coffee shop in 2008 dreaming up EcoETM, they didn't expect the lines and enthusiasm people would have for recycling old phones. We stuck it out there and within a week, lines started forming. Within two, three weeks, there was uh, a waiting line and it got to be 45 minutes long. And Everyone, when they see it, in their mind triggers, wow, now I know what I can do with these phones. Everyone has 
five, six, seven phones, some of them sitting in their drawer. And why are they in their drawer? Because they know it's bad to throw it away. So when they walk in the mall or they walk past their grocery store, or they walk in one of these other big box retailers and they see the box, they go, here's the place I do it. And of course, we're all financially motivated. When you see that dollar sign, they say, ah, and I can make money. And recycling phones has some major value to the economy. There's $5 billion of cell phones in your drawer. That's the value in the drawer, six per household. Um, and 150 million new ones going in every year. Five billion dollars a year that sits in a drawer and decays over time to zero value. If we can only capture even a portion of that and put it back into the economy by turning that junk, the trash, into cash, feeding it back into the economy, that's a five billion dollar stimulus package. EcoATM is testing the best store types to place the kiosks in while refining their visual identification technology further. Keep your eyes peeled though you're sure to spot a Bessie sometime soon.